y'all. It's your boy Manny Talking Wild, and I finally understand why the NFL has more fans than the NBA. And the reason is actually very simple. So if you look at the NBA, the NBA really only has about 10 players in the league that they care about and 10 players in the league that they baby and spoil. And that's why a lot of teams in the NBA do not have a superstar. So the teams with the superstar are the only teams in the league that has fans. Now, if you look at the NFL, the NFL has multiple teams with multiple superstars. There's not 55 superstars on one team in the NFL, and all the good players are not on one team in the NFL. They're all spread it out. Now, the NBA used to be like that. Back in the old days, in the 90s and 80s, it, it used to be where it was just about a star on every team, and they played for their team, and they was going to play as hard as they could to win a championship. But, but times have changed. How they do this thing where they call up each other and they say, hey, everybody, let's just go join LeBron in Cleveland. Everybody, let's go play in Cleveland. So now Cleveland will have like 15 superstars and the whole team is superstars. And the rest of the 32 teams, or the rest of the 31 teams, I'm sorry, is just left with scrubs. If you look at the NFL once again, then you will see that there's multiple stars on each team. If a player sits out, then it's okay. People are not really caring about it. It's multiple games to watch with other great players to watch. It's not playoffs right now in the NBA. Go to state in Utah. If go to state where to lose to Utah, nobody will watch any games in the Western Conference, period. And if Cleveland was to lose to Toronto, nobody will watch anything in the Eastern Conference, period. Ratings would go down tremendously. Nobody really wants to watch the Spurs. I'm sorry, Spurs fans, but you gotta admit, Spurs are a boring team to watch. Nobody really wants to watch them. They're boring. Yes, they have Kawhi Leonard. He's a star, but he's a quiet star. Nobody really wants to watch him. But the NBA, they are only they only care about about six players in the league. If if it's not anything to do with those six players in the league, then they're not worried, and they're just gonna let you be, and they're gonna let the fans care for whoever they want to care about. But they're gonna make those six players control the whole NBA. And if they're not controlling the whole NBA, then it's not the NBA. Because the NFL doesn't let it happen. The NFL spreads it out. The NFL has a lot of players, a lot of superstars on a lot of teams. Just about a superstar for each team in the NFL right now. Even if they're not the best team, they have just about at least three superstars on each team. If, if you take out the good teams in the playoff picture last season in the NFL, if you take out the Patriots, if they would have lost to the Steelers, people still would have loved to watch the Steelers and the Falcons. Or Falcons would have lost to Packers. People would have loved to watch Brady and, and Aaron Rodgers go at it. They let them play and they let them do what they do and it's, it's more spread it out. That way the ratings continue. When one team goes down, there's five more. In the NBA, one team goes down, it's two more. That's it. And then if those two more go down, then there's nobody. Nobody's watching basketball anymore. They're getting ready for football season. So that is really why the NBA is going downhill and the NFL is going uphill and becoming more popular. But if you disagree, let me know. Go ahead and comment, like this video, share it to everybody, share it to your friends, and uh, watch this clip at the end. And that's all I got for y'all today, man. This your boy, Manny Talking Wild.